New at 6, an update to a story we first reported Friday. The owners of an Knoxville pharmacy are facing several federal charges following a raid by the FBI back in April. 10 News anchor Shay Smith dug into court records and explains the charges those two women are facing now. Tiffany Haney and Ann Warren are facing conspiracy to commit health care fraud, making false statements relating to health care matters and aggravated identity theft. They're both accused of more than $8 million in health care fraud. The indictment says these crimes started all the way back in August of 2018 at the Rocky Hill Pharmacy and continued until this past July. An indictment says Tiffany Haney and Ann Warren with Rocky Hill Pharmacy conspired to submit forged paperwork for reimbursement of prescription drugs to health care benefit programs such as Medicare. Authorities allege the two would select the drugs based on their high reimbursement rates. It also says Haney and Warren altered formularies signed legitimately by providers by checking boxes next to unprescribed medications and writing additional refills not prescribed. As one example, the indictment alleges Haney filed or caused to be filed insurance claims from a bogus prescription at least four times between October 2019 and January 2020. It says Rocky Hill Pharmacy billed the insurance $1,802 for each of those claims, and documents show the pharmacy received a little more than $1,200 for each claim. It also says Haney filed or caused to be filed a prescription in the name of Ann Warren's husband that a health care provider did not issue. The indictment also says Warren filed or caused to be filed a prescription in her own name that again was not authorized by a provider. On the Tennessee Department of Health's website, it also shows a consent order from the Tennessee Board of Pharmacy from 2009. The order shows Warren was fined $600 for allowing two people to work as pharmacy technicians at a Walmart pharmacy when they were not properly registered with the board, one of those being Haney. Now, I contacted attorneys for both women. Haney's attorney's office said they had no comment, and I'm still waiting to hear back from Warren's. I also called Rocky Hill Pharmacy and asked if either of them were there and if they'd like to provide any sort of comment. The woman who answered the phone said no, thank you. They will be back in court on November 12th for their arraignment. All right, Shay Smith on the update. Thank you, Shay.